While the Prime Minister uh, inaugurated today's Semicon India 2024 conference in Greater Noida that was attended by over 250 exhibitors and over 150 speakers. In attendance also were Union IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav, MOS IT Jitin Prasad and of course uh, UPCM Yogi Adityanath, the Prime Minister, while addressing these leading semiconductor companies and their CEOs and other industry experts said, and I quote, in 21st century India, when the chips are down, you can bet on India. In fact, uh, that really reflects the confidence of global companies and conglomerates who are investing in the India growth story. He also added, and I quote once again, our vision is to have India-made chip in every global device, unquote. In fact, the Prime Minister also stated that India's vision is to make the electronics sector uh, cross that $500 billion mark in the next few years. Let's uh, first take a look at what the Prime Minister said. What else did he say along with IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav at that event? And then we'll move on to our guests uh, tonight who will be discussing this big story with us. आज भारत का मंत्र है इंक्रीजिंग द नंबर्स ऑफ चिप्स प्रोड्यूस इन इंडिया और इसलिए हमने सेमीकंडक्टर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग को आगे बढ़ाने के लिए बहुत सारे कदम उठाए हैं भारत में सेमीकंडक्टर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग फैसिलिटी लगाने के लिए 50% support Bharat Sarkar de rahi hai. Within the first phase of our mission, in a very short time frame, five semiconductor units have been approved. Construction is rapidly under progress in the Micron unit, the Morigao Tata unit construction has started, and the other three units construction will start very soon. Permitting Getting all the permissions has happened in a record time frame, which is, if you benchmark it with the rest of the world, this is indeed a new record. All right, so the first Made in India chip to come by 2025, that's the word coming in from the Honorable IT Minister. But let's uh, go across to our guest tonight. Uh, joining us now is Dr. Virappan, who's the chairperson of IESA. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Dr. Virappan, for joining us this evening on ET Now to discuss the big story that has been playing out in India over the past two years about the semicon industry. What do you really make of India's efforts to build this industry from scratch? Because there was an attempt made a couple of decades ago as well in the 1980s. 80s. However, we missed out on that opportunity. But are we now headed in the right direction so far as policy measures are concerned? In fact, also to give an update on the kind of proposals that have been cleared uh, just this year, including the Keynes proposal, Tata Electronics, which is setting up a plant in Gujarat. Also in Assam, Micron is also setting up another plant in Gujarat along with CG Power. Are we headed in the right direction, Dr. Virappan, so far as policy measures and, of course, outreach by the government is concerned absolutely i think india is in a great time for electronics and semiconductor industry ism the india semiconductor mission started in 2022 in two years time frame i think the, the mighty the government of india has done a wonderful job and the incentives uh, given was almost 50 percent on the capital and the states are topping up by 20 percent i think it's a testimony that we got five units cleared and all of them are not on papers now it's real uh, everybody has started the groundbreaking. In fact, Micron is coming out with the first packaged product in 2025, November. And India's dream coming true, we will get our India commercial wafer in 2027 by Tata. I, I think it's a great time for India. I, I think the policies for the first time has yielded a lot of result and the industry is very, very happy with Government of India's initiative on this uh, semicon. Right. Right. Right, Dr. Virappan, but what else can India learn from evolved ecosystems like, you know, Taiwan, for example, which controls 90% of the chip market, or from the United States, which has a similar chip subsidy scheme, which is called the CHIPS Act? Basically, we have been telling, we, we had a discussion with uh, Mr. Ashwini Vaishnav of yesterday, the industry does had a round table in Bharat Mantab yesterday. We gave all, gave a feedback for ISM 2.0. So 1.0 is already done and uh, we, have, we have consumed the money and we are looking at uh, ISM 2.0. There we are telling the value addition is design. So 50% of the value addition go to design. I think we have requested the government 
to look at design which is value added uh, uh, for india 50% uh, of the value comes out of design so ism 2.0 apart from manufacturing has to focus on design i think the government is very very clearly focused i think even all the industry leaders met uh, our pm yesterday the prime minister spent one and a half hours with the ceo of all the global companies and indian companies i think you know the government is really focused right. well it's going in the right, right direction absolutely on this subject right 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 sir. so so when you say that that was uh, of course the biggest demand that you know focus should be given on the design aspect of semiconductor ecosystem as well and of course uh, you know the it minister today was stating that there will be a follow up scheme to ism which is ism 2.0 however he did not really disclose uh, or on a, on the details that the scheme could uh, come up with but what was the biggest demand of industry stakeholders considering that so many from across the world have gathered here in india they were meeting the prime minister yesterday and second yes. part to my question is when you say that dim, uh, the, the you know the design aspect of the scheme should be given a push why is design such an important part of the overall ecosystem so basically if you take you 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 just take a apple mobile phone right see apple doesn't move a screw it's all like the, okay. but apple makes 80% of the money which is on design so basically our request is design is going to give the country a value the ip is what is created as to stay in india so the industry point of view, iisa is very clearly telling we need to have more design we need to have more chips india made chips i think that will give more value to the country on the ip side right so we are requesting a government to push the design and ip and product out of india right the right Right. right, sir. But what else did these companies really ask of the prime minister? Considering that there were so many of these companies that were meeting okay. the prime minister yesterday, so what was the other okay. big ask? One, one is very, very clearly the supply chain and logistics. See, this is needed for all the manufacturing. Even five units announced today. All of them have requested, you know, India to concentrate to support more uh, supply chain. Eleven supply chain for the fab. they wanted uh, the government to make sure that the supply chain and the ecosystem is get get created in india for the manufacturing that is one second is of course uh, the design side these are all the two major asks and they wanted this more funding to be provided in uh, 2.0 uh, ism 2.0 these are so, the three asks so 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 do you think that that Yes, sir. So, so ISM 1.0 was 10 billion dollars. Do you think ISM uh, 2.0 will exceed that limit? As of now, I can't comment on the numbers, but definitely, Mr. Vashini Vaisham told all of us that the 2.0 will be on but, and it will be. But that is a demand by the industry, right? Correct. It's a demand by the industry, and, and definitely it will be the same or more. Definitely, it will be the same or more in the ISM 2.0. That's what we are hoping. Yes. Okay. Okay. So big hopes really lined up so far as uh, semiconductor mission 2.0 is concerned by the Indian government. But sir, let me also ask you this question about the talent issue. Given that it's a highly specialized industry, and this is something that uh, you know, this industry takes a lot of time to actually start yielding results, at least 10 to 20 years. Do you think India has been able to, or is India on the right path to resolve the talent issue? And what more needs to be done so so as to sort of cultivate the talent? right here because like i said it's a specialized industry that requires specialized skills absolutely see basically both the prime minister and ashwini vaishnav of stock clearly mentioned today that 113 um, institutions in india is looking at uh, clearly you know uh, having the skill development for this semiconductor and electronics industry so the government is fully focused towards that i don't think it'll be a problem. prime minister himself mentioned 85000 Uh, people are being trained in this space i, I think uh, we are on the right direction on skill development in space okay sir so, uh, and uh, so uh, before we let you go let me ask you uh, you know one final question that i i really want to ask you and and that really is about you know 
uh, I mean chip subsidy support in newer ecosystems or you know uh, technologies or sectors that are emerging and fairly new there is more support needed more subsidy support needed by the government in fact that is also a demand by the EV ecosystem as well and in fact right. just a short while back the Indian government has also expanded that uh, uh, that subsidy scheme for the EV sector so as far as the semiconductor sector is concerned for how long should subsidy support continue before the industry reaches an inflection point this was discussed yesterday in Mr. Ajni Vaishnav round table. He said we have to look this as a long term. It's not that one time or two years. He was clearly telling this should go for 10 years so that sustaining everything happened and India will be a leader in semiconductor. So he himself mentioned that this is a long term and it will go at least for 10 years. All right. Uh, so that was also one of the key asks, as you said, uh, Doctor. Thank you very much on that note for joining us here on ET Now and discussing the big story on where India is placed so far as global supply chain uh, in the semiconductor ecosystem is concerned. Remember, viewers, India has also recently made a few pacts with Singapore, Japan, and of course, the United States as well. Definitely lots of hopes pinned on the Indian semiconductor ecosystem. And of course, we'll be tracking the story very, very closely. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.